And thank you, Mr. President, and thank my colleagues for, uh, for coming up at this critical moment to continue to do uh, the work that um, people of New York require us to do. There's a confluence of events that made this uh, legislation necessary. You've heard a lot of it during the debate, but I want to outline it again in my uh, brief vote explanation. Uh, first of all, we are sitting here on September 1st with the eviction moratorium we had in place at the state having expired uh, as of midnight last night. We have a Delta variant of COVID that continues to wreak havoc in our communities. We had an, an unfortunate anti-tenant Supreme Court decision from the U.S. Supreme Court that required us to fix the way we had originally uh, written this law. And as has been pointed out by many on both sides of the aisle, we had an emergency rent relief program that was administered in a disastrous fashion by the previous administration. As at this point we all know, the Cuomo administration was hobbled by its own scandals the last several months, was extremely distracted, and much of the executive branch of government was paralyzed, including the administration of this important program. Thankfully, Governor Hochul has said this is a priority of hers to get right, but in the meantime, to get that over $2 billion into the pockets of tenants and landlords to make people whole, we need more time. And so we're passing this legislation to give another four months for that money to get to the, into the right hands, make people uh, whole, keep them in their homes uh, at a time when it's more important than ever. So if we all sit here and we talk about wanting to prevent homelessness, wanting to help people who are housing stressed, wanting to help the small landlords who are waiting for rent to be paid, the way to do it is to extend the moratorium and get that rent relief money out the door. I heard a lot of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle talking about the need to make mom and pops, I think was the term, mom and pops, mom and moms, pops and pops, whatever you want to call it, but the need to make these landlords whole. Well, it doesn't help make them whole if we don't pass this bill and they end up evicting their tenants. That doesn't help them get the money. So keeping people in their homes, moving the rent relief money ultimately to the landlords is the way to accomplish that. That's what we're doing here today. Uh, and I thank my colleagues for supporting this bill. I proudly vote yes.